can be used for medical purpose, not 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 for the sport. It's not true or honest. If you want to be good at something, you have to put in the work and the dedication. It's not really sports to me anymore, like. And that right there pretty much sums up how most people feel about steroids in sports. Researchers at Chicago Booth decided to investigate what's driving this opposition. And the first thing they asked is, do considerations for fairness account for this opposition? Maybe it's really simple. Maybe it's just that people don't want athletes to have unfair advantages over their competitors. But what they found is that there's more to it. Actually, people would still oppose steroids even if using them wasn't unfair. And if you think that's just totally hypothetical, let's talk about powerlifting. If you're not one of those people who spends hours at the weight room at the gym, you're probably wondering what is powerlifting anyway? And first off, it's not the same as bodybuilding. Here's a bodybuilder, here's a powerlifter. Bodybuilding is like a beauty competition for muscle. Powerlifting, it's really simple. It's just about how much weight can you lift. Powerlifting really only got started in the 1970s, and back then, pretty much everyone was experimenting with steroids. But then, powerlifting split, and that split is still there today. So some federations, they're organizations that host competitions, they prohibit steroids, and they test for them. But others, they just don't care. Even world records in powerlifting are divided into two categories. Were the competitors tested, or weren't they? And a lot of different factors can affect how much weight a powerlifter will be able to lift, other than steroids. But overall, powerlifters who use steroids outperform those who don't by about 10%. And 10% doesn't really seem like a lot, but consider that in powerlifting that can be a difference of a few hundred pounds. So getting around doping tests, if you're competing in a federation that does test, is a big deal. It's really unfair. But what about someone who's competing in a federation that doesn't test? I mean, they can be pretty certain that every single one of their serious competitors is going to be using steroids. So using steroids doesn't really give them an unfair advantage. And that's exactly the kind of scenario that the researchers explored. They tested 10 factors drawn from previous research. And what they found is that people's opposition really comes down to only two factors. The first is prudence. Interestingly, what people are concerned with here is the health of the user. They're worried about the potential health risks. It's kind of like opposing cigarette smoking. However, the main driver of opposition is the presence of league rules or state and federal laws. Actually, it turns out that people care more about rules and laws than they do about fairness. And this is where it's interesting to think about the powerlifting competitions. Because the federations that don't test often don't have any rules prohibiting steroids. And the research indicates that in those cases, people wouldn't be as opposed to steroid use. Of course, the law is still the law, and steroids do still have tremendous health risks. So there would be some opposition, just not as much. You can think of steroid use like a particularly serious violation of a social convention. It's like if a bride did not wear white on her wedding. So if there were no rules or laws prohibiting steroids, they might no longer be opposed, or at least not as strongly. But for now, even though doping and powerlifting, or really any professional sports, is not going anywhere, neither is the bad rep it gets. 